So let's think about the different kinds of plants. And in general, there are four different kinds. Uh, and it's easy enough to understand. There are non-vascular plants, which are just what they sound like they are. They're plants that lack vascular tissue. And there are three divisions of non-vascular plants. There are the bryophyta, which are the mosses, hepatophyta, which are the liverworts, and then anthocerophyta, which are hornworts. Hornworts you'll probably never see. Uh, mosses you're very likely to see. Uh, liverworts, they're sort of inconspicuous, but there may be places in the forest where they cover huge areas uh, of the ground. Uh, seedless vascular plants, again, they're exactly what they sound like they are. They are plants that have vascular tissue, but they lack seeds. And seeds are an, are an important terrestrial adaptation, but these uh, plants do not have seeds. Seedless vascular plants include pteropoda, which are just your ferns. You may have a fern growing in a pot in your house. Echisetophyta, which are horsetails, lycopodophyta uh, are club mosses, and psilotophyta are whisk ferns. Whisk ferns are interesting in that they uh, are all stem. They have no leaves and no roots. Uh, another uh, type of plant or kind of plant are what we call gymnosperms. That literally means naked seed. And gymnosperm divisions include the coniferophyta, which is what our pine trees belong to, uh, ginkophyta, which uh, contains the ginkgo tree, and netophyta, which you'll probably go your entire life without seeing. It's a very strange division of of uh, plants contains one species, Wellwichia mirabilis, which is found in the desert of Africa. Uh, then we have the angiosperms, and angiosperms, of course, are your flowering plants. Uh, flowering plants make up 90% of the plant kingdom. So we have four different kinds of plants.